Hello everyone, it's Zigzag. Welcome back to another video. Uh, I am currently in Hope, British Columbia, where we've just passed the edge of the Fraser Valley. My grandpa and I, say hello to the camera grandpa. It's Grandpa Jim Howdy. from my Canadian side of the family. Right. He and I are going to be on a three day road trip in the Rocky Mountains. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be exploring the, the rain shadows and the wine regions. And uh, well, grandpa knows plenty about this having been a bus driver um, and, and, and still being a bus driver. And uh, yeah, we're gonna um, show you our adventure and it should be fun. You're in the coast range, not the Rockies. True. We coast, would be coast. another, we'd be another 400 miles before we got the Rockies. Coast range, not the Rockies, excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I will actually show you a clip of our journey to Hope because I realized it was too loud to vlog inside the RV. Um, which is behind us. So you will uh, instead see the uh, the road following the intro. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll pick up again. What's our next stop, Grandpa? Uh, Princeton. Princeton. We'll pick up again at Princeton most likely. And uh, yeah, I'll show you uh, some shots of hope now. Mount Baker. How many feet, Grandpa? 11,000. Yeah, I can see it. There it is. So that gap in the trees, which you can see in the center of the screen, Grandpa told me is actually the United States border. It's about the closest we're going to come until we reach our destination today. So for any of you guys who aren't so familiar, in British Columbia, of course, you get these concrete guardrails instead of metal ones, which is quite unique to BC. Um, but Grandpa reckons we might be coming up to some that are actually metal, potentially. So we're going to keep our eyes out, aren't we, Grandpa? Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, and if, if, if we see some, that might be quite useful for GeoGuessr, actually. Okay, hi again, vlog. So, Grandpa thought maybe because this was quite a steep drop off, as you can see. Yeah, very steep over this cliff here. He thought maybe that would be a metal one, but it seems like they're consistent <laughs> with, the, uh, with the concrete in BC. Okay, so we've been driving east for, I suppose, about three hours now from starting off in West Vancouver. And you can see that the trees are starting to thin out because it's less rainfall. And there's more grass on the hill as well. And that's only going to increase the further east we go, right? Yeah. So, yeah, we can really start to see it change a bit as we're, uh, what, what's our nearest town now? Princeton. Princeton will be next, yeah. 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 About 40 minutes. About 40 minutes away. Oh yeah, 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 I see, I see. Beautiful in here. Yeah, and they're hanging signs, uh, a British Columbian specialty. Mm -hmm. They love them here. I don't know why, what do you think, Grandpa? Is it, is it snow or what? I don't know, good question. Yeah. Um, I think it's because of the wind. You don't want them to be affixed because to the post, because they'll just get blown over. Right. And so the wind, I think, is part of the reason. Yeah, that seems right. Very beautiful here. And so what did you say the, the name of this river is? Sinokamine. Sinokamine. Which heads into the United States. Yeah. Okay, we are approaching Sunday Summit right now, which is the highest we're going to get, right? So yep. let's see the elevation. And they say... 1,282. So quite similar to the last one, right? Yeah. Um, but you can see the lack of rainfall now. The trees have completely changed. And another bad fire season here two years ago. Yeah, you can see it's all <coughs> dead trees on this hill over here. 
all of a sudden, just as we crossed here, we have sagebrush. Must be the first time I've seen sagebrush in uh, 10 years, Grandpa. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, you're going to see a lot more. Seeing a lot more. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> okay, here we are in Princeton. Established 1860, Grandpa. That makes it about the same age as Adelaide. Oh. Well, a little bit, a little bit younger, but okay. near the same age. Yeah, and it was gold in the creeks here. Right. That attracted people originally. Yeah. It feels like gold country. It's hard to describe, but it does. Yeah. <laughs> and the uh, area code has changed to 250 instead of uh, 604. Yeah. That's the two main area codes for British Columbia. So. You know you're not too far, uh, not too close to Vancouver now. Second left for the town center, but we're gonna skip a stop here, aren't we? Yeah. We've been traveling on the provincial highway number three, and you can see we're in. Uh, I forget the name of the town. Wait, let me find it here. Oh well, I forget. But anyway, you can see it is very dry here. We're well and truly in the rain shadow. Look at the mountains; they're pretty epic, and they are growing a lot of fruit here. So you can see all corn, asparagus, peaches, wine, cherries. You can see there's a lot of timber being uh, freighted around. Not freighted, but you know what I mean. Um, and uh, yeah, it's pretty epic here. <laughs> the mountains are crazy. kilometers from the US border? Yes. Yeah. And so we're descending into Osuyus, which is where we're staying tonight. And there's the lake. Is it Lake Osuyus? Yes. Yeah. What a panorama. It's quite crazy. Beautiful. Absolutely. Okay, we have arrived at our destination. The clouds are coming in. Uh, we're in a town called Osuyus, um, which is right on the US border. And there's this massive lake, which apparently was made a lot bigger by damming. Um, but it's quite a tourist destination now. We're in a RV park, uh, the North American way. And uh, we're about to go on a walk. So I'll, I'll show you what we see and that should be fun. Well, so this was a youth camp in its last this over here yeah. was a youth camp. We've gone on our walk and we've been stopped by a new um, private property that wasn't there last time Grandpa was here. New fence, a new fence prevents a new adventure. But you get a nice view here. Oh, poplar trees. Hi everyone, it is the end of day number one. Grandpa's just gone off to have a shower at the campsite, so I thought I will take you through the RV and show you what it's like. So he comes through here, there is the kitchen and the stove top and grandpa will be sleeping here. It's got a fridge and bathrooms inside here. It's pretty nice and renovated, I would say. Um, and then of course there's the cockpit and I'm sleeping up here just above it. And uh, yeah, you can see that uh, there is a pretty big window here and the view is pretty spectacular, but it is raining heavily over on the hill. Uh, we'll see if the rain gets here. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I think we had to cross the US border um, into Washington state just for a bit. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Once again, welcome back to the vlog. And now we are on the American side of the border. We are in Washington state. And we're just going to go on a bit of a trip on this side, have a look around. Um, the border crossing was interesting, Grandpa. We uh, had to surrender our tomatoes. Yes, tomatoes, an orange, and uh, some bell peppers. Yeah, they, they weren't happy with those ones, but uh, everything else could stay. So 
Uh, we just bought the tomato, so it's a bit of a shame, but uh, now we are in Washington. 463 a gallon is the gas price. And we can see the Washington bollards. I'm gonna have to stop over for a photo with one of the Washington bollards. Uh, but here we go, let's see what the landscape is like this side of the world. Here we are in Oroville, uh, Washington. Definitely less money on this side of the border. I think it's fair to say, Grandpa. Mm -hmm. Much less. Yeah. Oh, Would you look at that? Wide yeah. lines, everyone. Yeah. How exciting. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we came to America to see, Grandpa. Great. <laughs> there we go. And the there are your reflectors in the center. Oh yeah, and we got yeah we got the reflectors in the center as well. That's right. And we're on the highway, State Highway 97. Is that a state highway? Or uh, it's a uh, dis district or something? It's no, it's, County. A, it's a state highway. State. Yeah. yeah, 97 starts in Oregon. Yeah. Okay, now we're in Tonascot. The next town. We're not going to be here for too long, but uh, this is one of the three towns we're seeing. But this one kind of seems more pleasant to me, I think. Mm -hmm. It's got more of like a country feel about it, but also feels a bit more upkept, I would say. Definitely more money here. More money for sure. Yeah. The red apple in guys. And they got high speed Wi-Fi as well. From and and, and Samsung flat TVs. Mm. Flat screen TVs. So if you want to stay there, mm. you've heard why you should. I'm here with Colin Graham. We're in Aussie Antiques in uh, Washington State. What brought you here? to well, start this business. Well, I married a girl from Tanaska, this very town. Yeah. And we lived in Australia for a year. And then I wanted to come over here and, you know, for an adventure, because I had a secure business over there. So right. I wanted to leave the family business. Right. So I right. come over here. So you met her in Australia? I met her in Canada. Oh, okay. Great, yeah, great. yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah. <laughs> International new, family. Neutral. Yeah, 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 yeah. But she was a Yankee. Yeah. And so I come over here and live, and I bought this building. Yeah. It's an old gas station from my father-in-law. Right. And I started a business. And it, this town has been good to me. Right. Like, it's it's made me, you know, prosperous. Right. Like, right. people say you can't prosper in Tanaska because it's a very low socioeconomic mm. community. But in actual fact, you, you can, mm, especially mm. if you're an Aussie. Right, right. Because Aussies are all investors, yeah. you know, <laughs> and, and no one here is an investor. Yeah. And I bought, like, houses for $30,000. Yeah. And they were giving you, like... Hundred dollars a week, which yeah. isn't much, yeah. but it pays for itself plus gives you an income. You know, yeah, 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 so it's it's really so. So this was cash flow, and I, I actually you know done quite well. And enjoyed my time here. I've been here twenty seven years, oi, oi, oi. and now I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's fantastic, yeah, I, fantastic, I, I, yeah. great story. Look at that, guys! A steel guardrail. How exciting! No more concrete on this side of the border, baby. No. <laughs> Super dry on that hill. Not a, not a blade of grass. Nope. Whereas where it's irrigated down here, it's quite green. Yo, I realized that the whole time in Canada, we have not seen any American fences with white tips. But there you go, we have them here. Utility work ahead, I sure hope it does. All right. Yeah, so that's used for carrying water. Yeah. Oh my heavens. The whole, we're in Loomis, Washington right now. The whole place is amazing. The, the trees are back on the hills. It makes it more beautiful, for sure. Uh, yeah. The landscape here is... I don't know if the Google car would have driven on this road. I assume so. But Notice all beautiful. the manure on the road. Oh, yeah. So we're on oh, yeah. open range here. Yeah. The cows are cropping everywhere. Right, right. This is cattle country. Oh, yeah. Hay right. and cattle. Lots of spruce trees here. white stones on the side of the road for some reason. Yeah, I wonder why. I do not know. Well, it feels very like frontier vibes here, yeah. doesn't it? Wow. Yeah. You know, I've got an idea. What? I'll lay you a bet. They have dropped the, all that white and then they don't have to paint the edge of the road. Oh, that's it's, it's a safety. It's a yeah, safety thing. I think that's safety. Because it's, it's got to be deliberate. Look at it. Yeah, yeah. No, all I agree. Way along. They probably have quite a few white stones here and from the side of the hill anyway, so. Yeah. Oh, fascinating, fascinating. Isn't that beautiful? What a valley. Yeah, that's amazing, really. And there's our road. Oh, we're going up there? Yep. Oh, really? I think. Up this one. We'll see you in a minute. Okay.
Welcome back to the vlog. We were driving along, we're, we're driving towards the border, and we came across this magnificent lake which has a stop area. And so Grandpa and I are having lunch right here on this magnificent lake. Yeah, which is Split Rock Lake. Split Rock Lake, okay, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. And we're eating uh, a, uh, a uh, tuna salad, Californian style, made in Spain, which is yeah. very good RV food inside a tin. Best before 2027. Um, and some sparkling water. Feeling very dignified eating on the lake. Life's good, huh, Grandpa? Mm-hmm. <laughs> get much better than this. Oh, no. Been looking for a Washington bollard, and we've seen many on the road, but uh, this one does not have a reflector as far as I can tell, so kind of a disappointing one. That's okay. Yep, where's your reflector? I wanted a photo with you. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, goodbye to the lake. Very beautiful place. I like this a lot. I wish I could just go walk up there, but it's probably all private property, so another time. Okay, we are going up to Chupaca, border crossing now. Been in the US for a few hours and uh, we're doing the climb into Canada now. On well, quite a side road, it's very dry. We're about 1,200 feet elevated. And uh, that's the landscape. The uh, white rocks continue here. Although not exactly here, although yeah, you can see them right here. A couple of white rocks on the side of the road. There you go. Stop, Are. Hello everyone, welcome to a town. We're just north of Oliver, um, British Columbia. We've, uh, we've been, uh, we're, we're tra traveling on which road? The 20, the 197. 97. 97. I got there on the end. Um, and yeah, we are just in a, a, in a winery right now. You can see the vineyards behind me. And uh, you wouldn't expect that British Columbia can grow wine, but there is actually a lot being grown here. Yep. Ontario as well. Yep. And uh, yeah, we just uh, checked out the kind of tasting area here. Obviously, it's beautiful scenery, as you'd expect. Um, and all the beautiful people. Excuse yeah, me. yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, oh, Ladies everywhere. Yes, they're, they're doing their hens gatherings and such. Yes. Um, anyway, so uh, it's, it's on an indigenous re reservation here. Is that the was that the word you used in Canada? Yeah. And you can see that the stop sign is bilingual here, which is pretty cool. Do you know what language that would be, Grandpa? Uh, it'll be Okanagan Indian. Okanagan. Yeah. Also, they're selling cigarettes here, and they are five dollars, five Canadian a packet, which is and, and and twenty a carton or something, which is ridiculously cheap by Canadian standards, by Australian standards, literally. A, a third, like a, not even a third, literally a, a, a fifth of the price or less. Yeah. So it's pretty interesting that that happens here. I think if it happened in Australia, everyone <laughs> would go to reservations and buy them because, um, yeah, that is extremely cheap. Okay, Grandpa has a, co a, co a correction to make. So what's the correction, Grandpa? Uh, the correction is this is not a native reserve. It is native territory. Right. And our cigarettes that we just purchased for five bucks are made on native territory. Guys, I don't endorse smoking, but as an Australian, to pick these up for literally an eighth of the price, <laughs> almost, almost an eighth of the price, is pretty impressive. And so there you go, five dollar packet of cigarettes on native territory. Yeah. Thank you very much to the people who sold it to me. Yeah. <laughs> we're in a golf course near where we're staying tonight. Pretty magnificent, right? Yeah. Oh look, a yellow British Columbian fire hydrant. Just what I needed to make this one a pr truly proper beautiful place. <laughs> Twin Lakes, a golf course, and RV park. Pretty picturesque, look at that. The pole's kind of in the way, but we're geogosa players, we like poles, Grandpa. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we're not playing golf today, but it's time to go home and sleep and Tomorrow, we're considering going to the Penticton uh, car show, which is a big one that's there tomorrow. Otherwise, we'll be back to Vancouver and the vlog will be at a close. We're back home, Grandpa. Ah, yes. Well, 
you're getting close, 45 minutes. Okay, so I realized that at this point in the vlog, I'd not done a good explanation of what was actually going on. So I just finished my trip, of course, along the number three here out to Asuyus. Um, and then we'd also gone to Oliver and nearby Penticton as well. And then, of course, there's Oroville, Tenasket, and Loomis, the places we saw in the vlog as well. Um, now in the vlog, I am back in Vancouver. My grandparents live in West Vancouver and I went to Lighthouse National Park and also explored some of the green area around here. Super different climate. Um, so let's get into that. And yeah, just check out this place. I think it looks cooler on low light. This is what it looks more like in real life. That's just amazing. And there's a cove down there and these huge mansions. It's actually a crazy amount of wealth in the suburb. Okay, here we are. Let's see what it's like. I've got to say sorry to all the other climates because temperate rainforest is my favorite. It is magnificent in here. I love when stuff is covered with moss and I mean, look, everything here is covered in moss, literally, even the trees. I don't know, I love it. Ooh. I'm pretty sure these are edible. Are they salmon berries? I don't know, we don't have them in Australia, so I don't trust myself to try one, but they look edible. Maybe I should. Guys, is it really a zigzag vlog if I don't try something that could kill me? That's too sweet not to be edible. Oh guys, I think I found some more, but these ones are red. <sighs> Hopefully no one's cringing right now watching this, or I'm not watching it back after I die. Definitely a different color. I think, I think it's also salmon berry though. Somehow less sweet. So um, I don't think it's poisonous or anything. I just think it didn't taste as good as the orange ones. So they're probably, they're probably ripen as orange. Well, I'm on salmon berry trail, so I think I'm pretty safe, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's an interesting one. I don't know. It's, uh, it's definitely not as good as most berries, but it's still tasty. I like it. Hey, hey look what I found. The lighthouse view is this way. All right. Okay, I think we've made it. Let's see what the view is. Ooh, some purple flowers. Okay, I don't think we can see the lighthouse from here. Okay, so that is a view onto UBC, University of British Columbia. And it's like the western half of Vancouver mainland. And yeah, here's the bay. It's kind of nice. I think we have to follow this trail through here in order to get to the lighthouse. So I'll check in with you very soon. Okay, we've made it. We're out on the rocks and there is the mighty lighthouse. And we're looking onto Vancouver. We can't quite see the city itself. Over there in the distance, I think that's the islands before you get to Vancouver Island. I think it's too cloudy today to see Vancouver Island itself as far as I would know. And then over this direction, more of or kind of the end of Vancouver I guess the end of West Vancouver so yeah this national park is pretty cool could definitely recommend this walk so apparently the lighthouse here which is the same one we were just looking at apparently was the first ever building built by the settlers so non-first nations in the entirety of the north shore of Vancouver so kind of interesting this is not the original they knocked it down and built a new one i think according to the sign but uh yeah pretty cool and there are some like cabins down here in the woods um it's a nice place whoa we're a bit uh, hazy now but i just read a sign apparently some of these trees are over 500 years old and also some of the tallest in their species right inside this park so that's kind of cool as well um i think it's like exceptionally well preserved considering where it is I've returned home. I've been awake for 40 hours, but it's good to be back. I will show you guys quickly before I end off the vlog, these. So grandpa gifted me 
some Northwestern Territory old place. This is 1981, a real used Northwestern Territory plate, even different to the current one, but same shape, of course. And then another one here, which looks like this, 1970 Centenary. I think this one is a legit plate, but it was never used. The other one's pretty beat up. But yeah, I've been awake for 40 hours, so it's time for me to sleep. Uh, good to be home. And um, hope you enjoy the vlog. Peace, guys.